Okay, a lot of folks have had issues with getting three monitors to work on their new uh, Mac Pro. Now, this is the Mac Pro that just came out um, a few weeks ago here, uh, mid-year 2010, I guess is what they call it. Um, anyway, I've got the three monitors working, and I can tell you right now that I couldn't get these three DVI monitors working without using these real expensive adapters. I'm going to show you one right back here. Um, I think they call these a mini display port. Well, here, let me get the box. Where's the box? Here we go. Sorry about all this moving around the camera like this. Um, mini display port to dual link DVI adapter. It's a box that comes in. This big adapter. And again, let's take another look at them. And I'm going to tell you, um, you can buy these these regular mini display port to DVI adapters but that won't get the job done if you want to get three monitors working simultaneously trust me it won't work if you take two of those adapters and plug them in and plug them into your DVI uh, uh, monitors and then have the third DVI monitor hooked into the DVI plug it is not going to work you need to have these special um, mini display port to dual link DVI adapters that are 99 bucks, I think $99.50 each. You need to have two of those puppies and they are powered by the USB. They have USB plugs on them as well as the mini display port plug. So you plug it into the mini display port and then you plug it into the USB. Let me see if I can get around here and show you. Okay, right here in the back here, they're plugged in and they do take up two of your USB plugs so but now on the other end where you plug in your monitors you can see here it has a pass through it has the USB plug on there so you can plug in a USB device to that so you don't really you lose your USB plugs they just get transferred to the end of the other end of the cable so anyway you can get three monitors working as you can see here but it's not easy to do and it's not really clearly addressed on the Apple website and if you call Apple tech support most of those people don't know how to do it either so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this video up on YouTube and uh, maybe help a few folks out that are trying to do the same thing I did